Well, listen, when the ball's getting thrown in your box from anywhere within 40 yards of the goal, you're going to have hairy moments. The good thing for me, Steve, is we won 99% of the first contacts, the first ball into the box. I've got Fraser, Jono, Joel, Sam, midfield players, Joe on side back there, edging everything. You know when you come to places like this, the ball's going to be put in your box. You've got to deal with it. I thought, I thought we deserved it today. I thought the lads... The lads have grown up over the last couple of days um, with a few harsh words and a few sort of, you know, a bit of hard work yesterday on the training ground rather than just being a recovery day. You know, we weren't happy with Saturday. Um, that was a totally different minded back four today. You know, um, you know, they've got to start seeing danger. I didn't think we did that Saturday. We didn't. We just played football. We went out there and played football. And unfortunately, we let three goals in. And um, you know, we're better than that. My players have got a sense danger, you've got to see it and react, and, and not react to it, but be proactive about it. Whereas tonight, I thought we were ex excellent defensively. I think they've had, I think they've had one shot first half that Brandon's made a good save. They've hit the post with a with a second ball, but we've we've made you know from a long throw again, putting the ball in your box. You, you, you earn that bit of luck with with your attitude sometimes, and with your with your willingness to work and your willingness to do the the, the ugly things, do the the horrible parts, you know, and that's why you can come here and, you know, Billy can hit a 30 yard screamer that flies in the top corner, and that can mean you, you can win rather than you getting beat 2 1 because you've done the, you've done the, the, the hard yards in for the for the remainder of the 90 minutes. Uh, I, I sense well, yeah, so you must be delighted with the, yeah, the response there. I can, I can tell you the way you're speaking there, there's such an upbeat um, manner to, 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 to you at the moment. Yeah, I mean, we should be, we, we know in the dressing room that we've. The last two games, York, not let ourselves down, but we didn't perform as well as we could have done. Saturday, we let ourselves down in the last ten minutes, five minutes of the game, four minutes of the game. You know, we let ourselves down. We let let the supporters down. We we needed a reaction, but we needed just people to sort of realise that we we've, we know we've got talented players, but you can have all the talented players in the world. But if you're going to keep conceding goals, stupid goals like we conceded Saturday, then you have no chance. So. We, we talked yesterday, we worked on a couple of things, we, we explained what we're after. And to be fair, the lads carried out to a tee. You know, it, it's not about coming to Ashton and, and your two centre halves receiving it in their own box and, and playing 98 passes and not, we're not getting anywhere. It's about winning games of football. If we want to get where we want to get to, we, you know, we need to win quite a number of the remaining games of the season. You know, we're playing catch up. Um, I thought we just, we, we, the first 15 minutes were pretty even. I thought then we bossed, the, bossed the, the remainder of the, of the first half. I thought we were excellent. Thought we were causing real problems. Um, and then you know they've they've thrown the kitchen sink at us second half. But we were always the threat on the break, and always the threat. You know with the with the, with the forward players being on the pitch. I thought Ashley Chambers was was outstanding. His work rate. You know he's he's closing down alone. Could have scored him two or three goals today. You know he's closed the keeper down twice. And and that's what I want. I want my players on the front foot, and and showing the attitude and the. And the willingness to work that Chambo showed today, and if you know that that set the tone for a, a decent away performance today. And Aston will complain and uh, bitterly to the referees, or Jody Blanham sent off uh, what they thought was a push in the box by Sam Austin. What do you want me to say? I'm, I'm 70 yards away. I didn't, you know. I'm fearing the worst, but, but you know, fortunately for us, the referee. Decides it's not a penalty, and I'm not saying it is a penalty. By the way, I'm just from where I was. We couldn't genuinely tell you. Just hoping that it's not given. He's not given it. I'm not going to comment about their manager. I'm too long in the tooth for that. Indeed, Mark, you go you go into Saturday's game, day, Mark. The game against Nuneaton, but yeah. yeah, many people were saying the fact that you two away games, four points in in, in three days. You know, probably everybody would be delighted with that. Yeah. We needed three points tonight, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, after Saturday, in particular, you know, we should be, we should be, we should be I should be talking tonight with six points, two more points on our, on our total, but we're not. Um, the lads have responded well. They need to go again on Saturday. You know, it's, it's we, we've not, we're nowhere near where we want to be. Um, but if we keep working and they keep listening to what me and Jimmy and Russ are saying, and we get some players back, you know, we've been a bit unlucky with, you know, with injuries again. You know, since I've been here, I think. I think there's always been someone not available for the next game. You know, Declan's been a big miss for us. Um, Liam McAlinden wasn't available Saturday. Again, a big miss for us Saturday. I, thought, I think if Liam would have played, I think we'd have 
won the game comfortably. I think, I think we missed him Saturday. Um, and then tonight, Nick and Nick injured and, and Milan away on international duty. So, you know, the, I've literally had to, you know, go and get Strati from the from the from the uh, from the youth team um, to make up our bench. We're, we're, we're stretched at the moment, but to be fair to the lads, I think it was just a bit of naivety and, and just a lack of lack of seeing danger that cost us the game on Saturday because I think we'd, 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 we'd got the game in, in our grasp. We've got to learn from that and make sure that we, we approached non-eaten in, in the, the same manner that we did today. Just because you know they are where they are on the table and everyone will just expect that we'll just roll them over. You know, Teams have proved already this season and the last couple of seasons that that doesn't always happen. And they, they come to Agra, they see the pitch and they think, wow, this is nice to play at, nice, nice stadium, nice pitch, get looked after nicely. Um, and, and we want that, the, you know, the pitch being good, but, but we've got to make sure that we do a job on Monday and Saturday, otherwise tonight you know, won't mean what it, what it should do.